let us discuss this example so in this example we have to simply prove that limit x sin 1 by x is equal to 0 where what is the limit limit x tends to 0 but here we have to use epsilon delta definition to prove it okay so let me write what is a given function what is our given function x sin 1 by x so i will write we have i will write first my f of x f of x is x sin 1 by x right using epsilon delta definition we have to prove right so i will take one epsilon first let epsilon greater than 0 be given for this epsilon we have to select delta which will satisfy the definition okay but before that we will do some calculation and we will uh, predict about delta okay so let us do that basic calculation so let us consider i am considering mod f of x minus f of x minus whatever okay in right hand side of uh, our that term so that will be number we have to take so we have a zero so i am taking zero here so this is equal to mod what is my f of x x sin 1 by x right minus 0 if you subtract 0 from anyone you will have the same term so that's why we will have mod x sin 1 by x okay so if multiplication is there we can take separate separate mod so therefore this is equal to mod x into mod sin 1 by x okay see but mod of sine theta is always less than or equal to 1 if you take mod of sine okay whatever the angle doesn't matter its value is always less than or equal to 1 so that's why i can write this is less than or equal to mod x into 1 i am writing the reason here because mod sine theta is less than or equal to 1 so this is equal to mod x a very important thing we have sh shown here okay so mod of f of x minus 0 is less than or equal to mod x very important thing we have got so now we have to select our delta we choose we choose delta is equal to can you tell me the value of delta which we have to select which will satisfy the definition no no problem okay we will keep it blank we will go further and after solving few steps we will realize yes this delta we have to select let us go further consider i'm considering 0 less than mod x minus mod x minus 0 less than delta this thing we have to consider by definition in our previous video okay in first video we have already seen the definition i am simply using the definition here implies mod f of x minus what is my l 0 here okay and we have to prove that this is less than epsilon then we can say definition is satisfied and we get this result okay let us go further this part this mod we have already solved and we have got its value is less than or equal to mod x so i can write this is less than or equal to mod x mod x means what mod x minus 0 this is also mod x right now x minus 0 is x itself so mod x is less than delta we have got so i am writing this is less than delta what is our target our target is to prove that this is less than epsilon so my choice of delta should be epsilon getting so it will work so this is equal to epsilon yes we got which we want mod f of x minus 0 is less than epsilon yes definition is satisfied and we can say yes therefore therefore limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to 0 what is my f of x this is my f of x i have already written x sine 1 by x okay so in this way we prove this thing make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye